few decades before we physically met, because he had ownership of a domain named Kevin E. Taylor, ran for mayor for several uh, publications in the city of East Orange. I met him finally in Marco Hall's shop, and he was like, hey, I'm Kevin. I said, I'm Kevin. Marco said, tell me your whole name. And I said, oh, I'm Kevin Taylor. I said, I'm Kevin Taylor. Um, when we were 
kids, we used to play king of the mountain. But we was from top of the hills. We ain't know nothing about physical mountain. Never right. park around the corner from where we live. We parked up our chest and stood high on what we thought was a mountain. Huh? You have people in your life, in your neighborhood, in your past, who talk at you like they are indeed standing over you from a mountain. They just on hills. I want somebody to talk back to me. I will lift, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? Because it don't come from them. Right? You might get a little payback from them. You might get a little support from them. But your help, I want somebody to hear me, doesn't come from the hilltops. Your help come, doesn't come from people who keep reminding you about your past and your slip ups. Your help doesn't come from people who you avoid because you still owe them some money. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? We gotta fix this mountaintop, hilltop conversation because we keep finding ways to back out of living our best lives. I wish somebody would understand that the closer you get to the life you're trying to live, means the closer you have gotten to the mountain you've got to climb. Which means the farther you've got to lift your head. Because from across the way, the mountain might look like that. But when you're right up on it, ready to climb. When you're right there, oh Lord, I don't know if I can do this. Lord, I might, be, I might feel sexy, but my knees are 60. Lord, hey, 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 Lord, are you sure it's me? Did I not tell you when I tracks into church today? Not the cute outfit? Did I tell you to put in your hope? we got work to do. I told you today to put on something comfortable. You went for cute. That yeah. you're still trying to impress your co-workers instead of Come on. hearing what I'm trying to impress upon you. I live the Where does my help come from? God, I want somebody to deal with the fact that God is always trying to be in your business. Yeah. God is always trying to be in your business. Trying to support you, guide you, keep you, cover you, comfort you so that you are not ill-prepared for the walk it is that you're about to take. Right. I don't want you to be ill-prepared. That's the trick of the enemy to act like something surprising. Oh my Lord, this blindsided me. You mean a job at work when you, when you work? An assignment at work when you work? Huh? Something crazy happening with your kids while you're parenting as a parent? Huh? Be also ready, huh? You got, if you stay ready, you know how. You know which one of your children is the problem. No, this ain't gonna be one of Sunday. This ain't gonna be one of Sunday. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? Uh, the response in verse two is, "My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth." Huh? Huh? So, if point one was to fix the hill reference so that you don't get lost in life and cause yourself to think that you ain't got what so much to strive for. Point two is this. We find ourselves distracted by people, places, and things that we think we should be able to rely upon. Uh, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And, 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 and I just want to take a minute, if I could, uh, to play with one of these four-letter words that we throw around so easily, and then when somebody doesn't live up to it, we get mad at them, but we should be taking a moment to check ourselves. Someone you can rely upon, rely upon. Rely well, sounds so cute, it sounds so convenient, it sounds so easy. Huh? Uh, but to rely upon uh, is to depend upon with full trust or confidence. Huh? To, attempt to depend upon with full trust. I was somebody huh, would recheck themselves on people that had full trust and confidence. Huh? The trust call, like literally, could I stand there and start falling? Would you back up? Or would you at least, don't tell me how big I am, don't tell me how much I weigh. Would you at least try to attempt to break my fall? Anybody hear me about what I'm saying? Would you at least try to attempt to break my fall? Hmm? My help comes from people who would try to attempt to help break my No, my help comes from the maker of the land on which you stand and the feet on which you're girded and the lands connected to them and the hips that hold you up. And the hand, now, I just want to make sure I'm clear about that so that we don't allow ourselves to get caught up in these sucker free relationships with people who don't have the capacity to do the thing we keep giving them credit for. Huh? Come on, come on, come on. Huh? Come on. The person that makes sure you eat and the person that
that broke your heart can't both be your friends. You can be friendly to one, but somebody should know your friendly with them is why they're still alive, not why they get to still call you. It's only because I'm friendly. It's only to have friends. You must first show yourself friends. The only reason you're alive is by the grace of God within me. So I'm not going to ever cut you out or cut you, but you should cross the street if you Look out the way you see me coming. I knock it down and it won't be fun. They got to be an enemy to be careful. My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Huh? So I've got to check myself on people I have put too much reliance upon, especially people who have consistently and persistently shown me that they don't have the capacity in order to open that door. And they don't have the capacity to be there. I want somebody to hear me. The way I need them to be there. Come for me, come on now, dear. Right. See, he irritated because this is an irritating word for somebody. I want somebody to check themselves on the people that they give credit for, who they give credit to, who has shown themselves unable to be what you need them to be. Come the way you need them to be in. Come on. Now. Period. Huh? Because a lot of y'all many rivers have back down memory lane. But we was friends, but they were there when we had time. Yeah, but you had a number of occasions since then where they haven't been. Thank God for them and that. And that they covered you there. But the last few times, they were not there. And so, I mean, maybe it's my burger. You know, they say burgers break up with people, break away from people. Maybe that's it. But I'm just saying, what I'm clear about today is that if I keep spots close to me, open close to me, or people close to me, who do things close to me, or people who need to get close to me, try to get close to me, there's somewhere for them to be. Not a space occupied by somebody who used to <coughs> do true. Huh? Who used to, huh? Used to. Huh? If you get together with somebody on a drink that all y'all get to talk about in the past, right. they should be gone. <laughs> if all of them get to I said, don't talk about it. I said, if all y'all can talk about it. Because sometimes you need a reminder at 60 about something you did at 16. Uh, remember that time with Double Dutch? Oh, you're going to remind me. And then you walk past the Double Dutch, you're like, God, is this, is this, a, this is the moment to show me that my gifts and lips still work together. Right? <laughs> right? right? So you just don't need to be broken by your past. You just sometimes need to break up with it. Pray for all the saints. Pray for everybody in the situation you're in. And sometimes that gets hard. Because even when you 
girlfriend shows up at your house screaming that he hit her, you've also got to pray for her abuser because if it had not been for God's grace, you would make sure that she uh, got in the shower, huh? pinned her hair up, huh? had some nice change into, huh? changed her clothes, huh? and then said, girl, I'll be right Okay. We've been shopping and hooping a whole lot in the last couple of seconds. Now I'm just making the noise. Like, you know, so, if you had a little God's grace, you said, girl, sit still, I'll be right back. Uh, but God says, I got this. You were like, your foot, not like your foot slip. Uh, well, I don't know what happened. I snapped. I said, no, no, sit your behind down. I got him. Yeah. I got her and him. Calm down. I got her and her. Him and him. Calm down. Mind your business. The assignment I sent to you. Wow. Okay. Huh? She will be all right. And, uh, that, you know, that's what we get bored with, with grace and mercy. Oh, everything all right. Because we have to say all right. You would always check in on your all to see if it's right. right. Yeah. But I put a contraction. I, you know, it's a apostrophe. I, it's, a, it's a contraction in my correct doctor. Right. right? It's the thing that we made up to smush things together to hold ourselves from not being accountable. To all and right. I got to cover everything, even though I'm gonna slap you. I got to cover everything, even though I want to cuss everybody in this building out right now. I got to cover myself, even though that lady is counting out pennies at the front of the cup. I got to cover the whole Lord. I said, You all right? Now, look, you can do one or two things. You can go up there and help account, or you can pull up that credit card and swipe it and say, Man, you But this one attitude you got right now ain't coming to nobody, especially not you. So calm your head. You have more moments when you save the food for later, huh? And somebody home will say something hungry. God will see. They ask you for money because your little sanctimony is behind. Always gets to say, if I give you money, you might spend it on liquor. And they say, can I have the hot food in your hand because you already put the other half in your full belly and you already prepared to eat this later. Like later is guaranteed. And I'm hungry now. Nobody When you put out what you need to put out from your mouth, to eat it from your mouth, Lord, calm me down. Please help traffic. Huh? Please help traffic that get on my nerves. Huh? That doesn't mean the traffic is clear. I'm working on your nerves now. You're going into the busiest part of town from a second busiest part of town. There's going to be traffic. So there's not going to be a day, huh? even if you leave here sometime at midnight, where there's not traffic. What I'm working on is this thing that stirs up in you. Uh, when other people happen to show up on streets going through. Yeah. The fact that that makes you mad, you just, uh, uh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry, baby. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither sleep nor suffer. Indeed, the one who watches over, who's watchful, who, who, who walks people through water and when they watch fish swimming on the side. The one who takes care of all, who takes care, who, who is called a commission. I'm reminded, I'm going to read this for you, of Matthew 6, chapter, tell somebody, it says, Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away their barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you be worried about a single hour? Can any one of you, by the way, tell somebody, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about your clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you, yet I tell you, yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of you. Two as you think you are, you ain't gonna never be a room. Two as you are, you can't ever be more Fabulous that you wanna throw out labels. You ain't never gonna give a gentleman. Sometimes you fool yourself. These blows just for my, that's what I can do. You think you do it? You got hot and I cooled you down. So, if that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry, say, what shall I eat? What shall I drink? Or what shall I wear? Huh? Lord watches over. And that's 
just a thing that really should give you some superpower if you were real All right. Yeah. You can't to believe in your capacity for audacity and just start calling out stuff to see if it showed up. Yeah. Uh, to just see, huh? Uh, to just see if God would do it. To just see. Yeah. Huh? Follow the Lord. Trick or treat, Santa Claus, believe in self, but you got faith. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Like sometimes you should just be like, Lord, Lord. See, I figured it out. When I start talking to the Lord the way the Lord talked to me, look, <laughs> look, Lord, Lord. I got time for it. Look, Lord, Lord. I wish you would stand outside the door of the office and go to the Lord and touch the knot of what she touched the hem of his garment and said, Look, Lord, Lord. You know who they are, but if you don't, let me call them my name, Diane, Melissa, and Teresa. Call them my name. Let me call that boss on the third floor that always got the last minute assignment for me at eight, and, and, and before, uh, right before lunch. I wonder when they want to talk to me at 4.59. I, Lord, if you could just cover me today. <laughs> By covering them with the grace of love. Oh. If you could just do that. If you could just show me how to lead with love. Yes. Yes. I'll be sure to bless <laughs> your See, I, I want to sing it in church. Look out at the office, man. You go, Lord, we do bless your name. How much of you? You okay? Lord, we do. Come on, God got me. You, just, you need to say to yourself, huh? In the midst of it all, God got me, huh? No matter what it is, huh? God got me, huh? And so you just have to take a moment to sit still with where you are in your faith. But sometimes you just have to test it. Huh? See, it's not a test for God, it's a test for you. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Huh? Do you believe the things that are coming out of your mouth? Yeah. The thing that is significant, you because know, we like the idea of prayer as an inward head thing, but God knows my heart. I know my heart. Don't this ain't a hard example. What are you talking about? <laughs> you want something from me, you have not asked me for it. You want me to go into your heart and take out the thing you want me to do. Oh, I wish somebody would understand what you're saying. You want me to wrench into your heart and pull out what I think you're feeling because it hasn't come out of your mouth because you're afraid if you say it, you'll be disappointed. So what you do is think it and then think that God's going to come in and deal it from your heart because God knows your heart and you don't always have to pray. I mean, I want to look crazy walking down the street talking to people. You got the blood in the ears talking to people. Huh? No, no, no. So why don't we want to say it aloud? Huh? Where is the struggle? The struggle is worried about whether or not we believe God got me. Huh? Verse 5 says the Lord watched him. Again, consider that 121 is not written by or given notation to Samuel. I mean, Solomon or David, neither of the kings. So that means you have to be reminded that everything the kings elocuted was written down by somebody. So that means they found evidence of who wrote 122 to 134, right? So 121 is not attributed to anybody. But somebody heard it. Huh? Now these are those wise words from your great grandmother, the biggest in the Huh? And she's pouring something in your leaf like barely breathing. And you swear you're going to write this down when you get home? Huh? But it hit you so bad that you cried yourself to sleep, huh? Mm -hmm. Then you got up in the morning, you weren't called to write it down, you were called to live it out. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You yeah. said, well, I thought I was almost dead. I almost wrote a whole book about it instead of actually working it out. Anybody hear me? Because yeah. 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 you know, that's what people, everybody get one little lesson now. They, now they're a guru on the internet. Yeah. 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 I'm an inspirational, motivational speaker. You got 1,012 stuff done. 1,012 followers, but well. you got something to say. And I ain't saying that can't be true. I'm just saying there should be a lot of videos if you got something to say. But you got something to say. One little piece, and you swipe and swipe, and they keep saying the same thing over, over again. Or they keep reposting other people's stuff to try to draw a crowd. So I'm just saying, well, look, watch this over. Point five. So point four is I got me. Point three is God is watching, and there is no test, at least not from God. Huh? Huh? Point two is huh? we find ourselves distracted by people, huh? not sure if we can rely on them, but we need to 
check out some point was to fix the hills reference and start looking for the mountain. Tell us somebody. So point five is just is the fun what are the fundamentals of your faith, huh? Believe this, uh -huh, uh, God watches over me. Believe that. Mm. Or what is your faith about? Mm. Right? Come on. Why do we move in disbelief, huh? Because things have happened huh, that we believe that God should have stopped. Mm. Huh? Yeah. One of the most toxic taglines in the church today is what God allows. Mm. Yeah, I knew it would be pretty certain. I was trying to change it. Yeah. <laughs> Play a song to go with it. Because what God allows always shows up when people see a thing happen that they believe something bigger than them should have stopped. They never say, God allows my check to clear. God allows me to have food in the refrigerator. You know, I want to thank you, Lord, that you allowed me to have this meal. You think you did something. You may not say it, but you, I worked the job, I got the money, I cashed the check, I went grocery shopping, I prepared the meal. God didn't allow this. I, that God allowed. I don't know why you showed up here and hit me. God allowed. Dude, they still got a key to your house, y'all. Put a party in your HAs and locks. When I think I had to, I told the leave. We get mad at God because of stuff we leave undone. And then when they do what it wants to do, we think God allowed it, huh? I'm trying to tell y'all what it really feels like in an empowered space when uh, 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 months after the breakup, the person who said they don't have the capacity to ride at your, climb your mountain, if you will, huh, calls to say, hey, I just want to talk. Who is it? Wait, did you erase my number? Before you get sad, I took off every reference to you on social media and burned every picture I had. When I said done, I've been done. I've been trying, I'm praying it well over. I'm like, no! I'm looking at moments at the prom, I'm looking at that stuff at a party where we look really cute in pictures. I looked at it and looked and looked, and then I burned it to the girl. Now, if you're having a conversation, yes. it's going to be a new conversation. Because I need to hear about why you did what you did the last time you did it. Because we both know you've done that before. We both know the apology you get ready to say. You sung that song.
See, that's why people like us are speaking with us our codes, because we can't interpret it. And the Lord says, Look, I, Thine mother fumbling, God, so Oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> we can't understand people speaking in English with their accent too thick. Okay. But we want to put God in tongues all in our ears. It's all sort of code. Because uh, if God spoke to you like you speak to God, and if you speak to God, you would know God's voice speaking to you because it would be the discomfort of hearing yourself, coming back to yourself when you know better.
they, the church mouthed it. They didn't say it out loud. They mouthed it. <laughs> Time to look at it. Look away from it so you don't feel nothing like shame. This ain't got nothing to do with shame. This has nothing to do with no choice but being in my church. Because if it ain't up under that pew, I'm going to whoop your heart to just stand up. Well. Huh? Lord, I don't know how we got the hour. We don't need to have that conversation right now. Just put in your drawer and get out. Uh, no, no, no. We don't need it, huh? Spit it out. Spit it, spit it. I'm almost done, I promise. The sun, verse 6 says, will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm, verse 7 says. He will watch over you. I want somebody to hear. I said, watch over, not take over. Come on. Hmm? We want glory for the stuff we get right. And not punishment for the stuff where we stumble. Hmm? Not reward, just not punishment. I messed up, okay. Let it go, huh? But it's not that big a deal. You know what I meant to do. I mean to say that how many times we take disrespect and disregard from people. Because worse would be than disrespect is disregard. To somebody hear what I just said. Worse for me than disrespect is disregard. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Don't act like I don't exist. Don't act like huh? So you messed up. Don't act like you didn't mess up. Just come back. If you, it's not the fall that's the problem for me. Just say, oh, I forgot. And come on back. The fact that you could get up and come back, I know softly you're going to try to blame that on me. Well, you know how you, well, I didn't want to, I feel like, There's a video from a UCLA basketball game, huh? Where tall dreadlocks, I mean, he's got the, you know, the not yet put together dreadlock, just kind of a bouncy lock, location of things like this. And he's walking the ball, and he goes to throw the ball to pass it to another player. But he was so caught up in the showboatery of his moves, uh -huh. huh? With a simple layup, would have done it, huh? And you know, I can only say, I just did Yeah, they, they happen to be sexy, but I know that. It just also happened to be sick. So he goes, uh, 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 and he goes to pass it to one of the dudes, but he wasn't watching that somebody else was clearer. He just wanted to be able to do that move. And the dude was like, where'd that come from? We didn't practice that. So the ball got away from the dude he threw it to. And then the young tall man who passed it, the dude who missed it, ran up to him and did that. Hey, hey, stay in the game. Hey.
We're going to have a team player up front. So that you see that you can keep going. So that when fellowship shows up, you don't 
don't give up, you keep going. Yes. The enemy wants you to stop. Huh? Your pain wants you to stop. Your past wants you to stop. History wants you to stop. Yeah. But David kept going. Abraham and Sarah kept going. Moses kept going. Harriet kept going. Yes. Sojourner Sir Sir kept going. Frederick kept going. Bayer kept going. Archbishop Carl Bain kept going. Marshall B. Johnson kept going. Sylvia Rivera kept going. Kevin Edward Taylor kept going. Shot Sales kept going. Tanya Carter kept going. Cheryl Bragg kept going. Jackie Bragg kept going. Kevin Franklin kept going. You need evidence that people who have been through stuff and kept going. People look great your hands. Somebody sitting in the building who's been through something. All the dead people put your hands down. Anybody that's been through something, put your hands up. Keep going. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I know you're tired. Keep going. I know you didn't like that. Dr. Report, God didn't like it either. But God got you here to fix it. So that when the doctor says six months ago, what did you do? You should have been dead sleeping in your grave. You don't think about blessing the Lord. You actually, actively bless the Lord. Cigarette might be doing to somebody's body, but I've seen it do enough to make people go outside in the cold and try 
Just five steps today. Now look 